Welcome to Milan. We are here in the Department of Anesthesia. My name is Tommaso Mauri. I work here as a staff physician in the ICU and researcher in university dedicated to both activities. The topic of monitoring is crucial in the treatment of our RDS patient because targeted ventilation setting should aim at personalized aims, personalized targets, and monitoring is the mean to set a personalized target in each patient. Without starting from monitoring, we jump only to average values that are okay for the population, but maybe not for that specific patient. So electrical impedance tomography in a, in a sense simple but also advanced monitoring at the bedside through which we could set personalized aims, personalized targets and, and then decide personalized settings. In clinical practice we usually monitor all RDS patients with some form of advanced uh, tool, of advanced measure. It is particularly useful in detect recruitment and overdistension, for example at different PIP levels or at different ventilator settings. I think that at, at the bedside the regional recruitment and regional overdistension don't have by now another method as accurate and as effective as electrical impedance tomography to be detected. And so without it would only be guessed. So electrical impedance tomography could integrate in the monitoring of the RDS patient by giving specific measure, namely over distension and recruitment. The principle of clinical use and physiologic basis of electrical impedance tomography and how specific measure, for example, a heterogeneity of ventilation distribution, change in end respiratory lung volume, over distension and recruitment by regional compliance and pixel level compliance, this specific measure given by EAT derived by AT, I hope it could be understood by the lesson and so the clinician will be able to go at the bedside and already start using this technique following some set of measures that could help titrate mechanical ventilation. <music>